what what do you think it does mean to be a man to be a man is is very hard because society tells you to be tough my wife sent me this poem and it says thank you for being the rock thank you for being strong thank you for being resilient thank you for being brave thank you for being there thank you for having the heart thank you for having the compassion thank you so we as men i expected a hell of a lot to be a man means you got to be everything literally everything's expected on you and that's a very tough place to be at because you don't know when you're doing too much and you don't know when you're overdoing it because if you say to be a man means to be strong to be powerful to know the rules and to live by them yet yeah, then you could be too strict then you could be a man who's loving and caring and soft but then you could be too much of that where is the balance and one of the things i discovered for me as a man was to be the bit of both my wife has been a great inspiration for me she taught me a lot of things as a man i always seen everything from a practical side it's something that naturally just came to me and i was very practical on things there is a square a square toy goes into the square box there is a circle will not fit into the square but my wife would say sometimes yeah but there's still space she couldn't see what i seen but what she taught me is to look outside the box and that allowed me to become a better man a better father a better husband to have more people call it the feminine side i call it the heart side the, the love because we all have it we as men were taught to from a very young age chin up don't cry about it grow some hair on your chest get on with it shut up is your leg full enough no get on with it we were taught not to cry we're taught not to share we're taught not to talk we were taught all these things and yet now people say oh you're too tough you're too manly you're too masculine you're too macho yet you taught me all these things yet society requires that from me and i'm told not to be it so for men today we're lost cuz what do i have to be one minute i got to be this another minute i got to be that where do i find the balance and i think for me now to understand the term what does it mean to be a man and is a very old school term is called a gentleman now a gentleman i'll broke it down to a gentle man be gentle but be a man be kind be loving but be strong be smart but be smart enough to know when you're wrong is all these things that we balance every single day with my daughters one of the most beautiful things i had to learn from my wife was this my daughters are allowed to call me out so my daughters were really little and what happened was so we're at the coffee table and one of the girls was running in and i'm like she's going to hit this cup the cup is going to go everywhere you know one of those yeah. situations you can see it again because i'm practical so as soon as she's running I'm like, whoa 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 and one of my daughters went daddy why are you shouting you shouldn't shout to a young girl <laughs> go on a step <laughs> she sent you on the step she sent me on a step and i went yo i didn't actually think i did raise my voice there was no need for it there's other things i could have done yet i panicked and overreacted of a very very small situation so i went on a step <laughs> i sat down there and the coolest thing was so daddy did you think about it so i did i'm really sorry i shouldn't mm-hmm. shouted i shouldn't panicked that's what happened i panicked mm-hmm. i thought you're going to spill this cup it's going to go over you maybe it might hurt you so i just got worried and i got scared and i just overreacted in that moment in time she goes okay daddy i'm glad you thought about it so then we went back in the front room um and what made me think in that moment was this the behaviors that we have the behaviors that we've learned but the behaviors that we have to design you need now to design your behaviors as a man you have a responsibility now to yourself and to the people around you to design your behaviors not blame the past learnings on your behaviors so one of the principles i learned from my mother was in a great principle but it was a good one So my mother became a person as well that she became a really great teacher of everything what not to be. And I'll explain that in a bit. If you come to my house, you having a cup of tea, you spilt the cup. I'll go, "Oh, don't worry, man. I'll clean that. No problem." Why? 
you're a guest, you're important, I'll clean that up. Now, with me and you are talking, my kid come knocks it over. What are you doing? Can't you see we're having a conversation? The, the, the difference in reaction to, well, you're a guest, you're more important than my own child. And I use that term with a lot of parents when I teach parents. I say, the respect, you've lost total respect from your child, yet you respected this guest. I think we do that with people in general, don't we? Do you ever think that? When someone you know, you treat, say someone comes into your house and it's exactly the same. If, I don't know, like say you and your wife or you you bicker a little bit or you're thinking, and, and then sometimes you do show more respect to someone that you don't even know really, maybe then than your partner or yeah. your friend or your, someone yeah. close to you. Mm. Yeah. You do, I've never really thought of so it. So like my mother, exactly. my mother taught me the biggest lesson, treat everyone the same. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's the hardest lesson because yet yeah, when your kids are misbehaving, I got to treat them like I would speak to you mm. with the utmost respect. So we've got to sit down and have an honest conversation. There's no shouting. I'm not bigger than you. I'm not smarter than you. I don't know more than you. So I'm your parent, do as you're told. No, I got to have an honest conversation because I want you to grow up and to be honest. I want you to grow up and I want you to have that respect for me. Because one of the things my mother did, I lost my respect for my mother because of the way she did things. So a lot of the things she would do, she was a hypocrite. She would tell me not to do it, yet she did it. And my mom was, had a very tough time. So all respect to my mother because of everything she did and everything she went through. This poor woman, she suffered in her life. I, I, sorry, did you say you fell, fell, fell out with her? Yes, because she did a lot of things she told me not to and she yet did them. And, uh, yeah. and so for me, that was very difficult. So she taught me a lot of things what not to be as a parent. And then my mom had a problem with drink. So she was an alcoholic. Oh, really? Yeah. So we had a very, very difficult time as growing up on top of that. So with my mother, I would say this, thank you for everything she did because she wasn't the best mother, but she was a very good teacher because she taught me everything what not to be. So with my children, I learned to be more loving. I learned to be more caring. I learned to, like I don't drink around my kids. There's few things I don't do because of what I've learned and what I've experienced. And for me it was when my children are old enough, I will take them out. I won't allow my family, friends, or anybody else to take them out. I will take my kids out when they're older because I will teach them how to drink. Because if you let an 18-year-old out with their 18-year-old friends, oh yeah, none of them know nothing. I know what I was like, an idiot. <laughs> none of them know <laughs> nothing. An idiot, yeah. So we, in Street Factory, any of our dancers, anybody that came of age was allowed to, we taught them how it's done. You have few, you have a dance, you enjoy yourself, you have a great time. Once you feel that little feeling, you stop. You have water, have something to eat, dance it off. And then if you feel you want more, you can have more. But don't overdo it. There's limits. Learn your limits. Like, I have mine, you have yours. Learn them. You have to learn about yourself. 